Here we'll be installing a set of pad corks um, from mpcstuff.com on this set of glow-in-the-dark pads from mpcstuff.com. Uh, the pad corks give a little bit more sensitivity to the MPC pads. A lot of people recently have been complaining a little bit about the MPD pads, um, but the MPC pads a lot, of, a lot of people don't realize are the exact same pads. Um, on the MPD it's a little more pronounced problem just because the way the sensors are set up and the way the casing is put on. Um, but they all suffer from the same little bit of lack of sensitivity. Uh, a lot of people always say the 2000 XL has the best or um, the 2000, but in reality they all really do have the same sort of pads. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to install these, uh, what, what we call the pad corks, which are basically to increase sensitivity on your MPC. First you're going to remove your pad set from your MPC. Uh, we have a bunch of videos on different MPCs and how to do that. So once you get your casing and your pad set off, uh, you just need to get to the back side where the circles are so we can add our pad corks. Alright, so now we're going to install the pad corks onto the back side of our pads. As you can see, the circles match exactly with the circles on the pad cork. And you're just going to take each adhesive one off of your pad cork set and apply them to the pads. It may seem simple, it is very, very simple, although you got to make sure that you almost massage the cork on and push it on all the way. That way you make sure that you don't have any problems with sensitivity or them falling off uh, or anything like that. So you gotta make sure they're massaged on. I'll show you now, I'll show you now how. You're gonna take the pad cork, put it on precisely around the same contour. Then you're gonna take it and you're gonna push down as hard as you can all around to make sure that it's tight and it's all the way pushed down on the pad. If it's up at all and doesn't get all the way down, it could cause problems when installing. At MPC Stuff, we chose to go along with the circular sensor where I've seen other people using pieces of tape and other things underneath, but they were using square modes. Not that a square mode will not work because the actual sensors are squares, but our thought process is we're keeping the same structure as Akai meant for it originally, except just making it a little bit more sensitive. Otherwise, with a square pad, you might end up with little ghost triggers when you hit corners a little bit when you're going to the next pad. So we've kept the same structure by going circular, putting them on like this. Now I'm going to show you a bit how more sensitive they are. This one I changed out of the whole pads. Uh, you might see on my other video for the 1000, I changed one and didn't change the other, so you could kind of tell the difference. Uh, but you might be able to tell here a little bit how it's a little easier for me to hit the pads. I mean, right now I'm barely just rubbing the pad on the top and it's triggering. see they still maintain their sensitivity on how hard you hit. Right now I'm not hitting very hard so it's low. That's the sensitivity corks from mpcstuff.com.